The NBA Retro League will be moving to a minutes-based fantasy basketball format next season. This means that managers will need to fill the 48 available minutes at each of the five positions. These positions include point guard, shooting guard, small forward, power forward, and center. There is no roster size limit, but no more than 13 players can contribute to a box score. Some players will be eligible to play at one position while others will be eligible at multiple positions. Therefore, a player could contribute to the box score at more than one position if needed. Having position minutes limits will add an element of challenge and realism to running a team in the NBA Retro League. Managers will need to ensure that they have adequate depth at all positions which further increases the challenge and enjoyment of running your fantasy basketball team as no fantasy points will be awarded for minutes that aren't filled by a qualified player. Fantasy games will be based on a week's worth of statistics beginning each Monday and ending on Sunday. Box scores for the previous week's statistics will be calculated beginning Monday morning and will be completed no later than Wednesday depending on the commissioner's personal schedule. Normally, box scores will be posted no later than sometime on Tuesdays. Managers will have the option of ranking their players manually for fantasy games or allowing their players to be auto-ranked based upon their gross fantasy point production for the season. By manually ranking players, Teams can take advantage of players who may not play lots of minutes but are highly productive in those minutes. The NBA Retro League will also be moving to a salary cap system for the 2024-25 season. Salaries will be based on real-life NBA salaries which will be updated each off-season and will be locked during the regular season. The current proposed salary cap is $220 million, which will increase by $3 million per month starting at the end of November and continuing through the end of March, capping out at $235 million. The additional funds are intended to assist teams that have injury issues so that they aren't forced to waive players who are not playing. The salary cap is the only limit to signing players as there will be no roster size limit. On a final note, the value of statistics will be reduced by 10% beginning with the 2024-25 season, which will result in scores that are similar to NBA results. These changes are intended to increase the level of competition in the NBA Retro League as well as add to the realism of running a fantasy basketball team. The hope is for general managers in this league to have an experience which is similar to running a team in the NBA in real life. For those listening who are not a manager in the NBA Retro League and are interested in joining, contact the commissioner by responding to this post at Fantrax or the comments section of this YouTube video.